Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Sick Serial Insane Clown Killer. Well, I got the one thing right about this movie. It was pretty sick, but not in a good way. <sighs> and it's and sadly it's an it's a movie about a bunch of friends who go out into the, who go out on a va- on a vacation away from it all to a nice looking house out in the middle of the forest and there's a well serial killer dressed up like a clown going around trying to kill them all before I get into this review though I want to give a shout out to fellow YouTuber Horror Ninja 847 who did a top 5 Worst serial killer, uh, worst clown horror movies list. So, if you guys want to go check that out and uh, and see if you agree with his list. And spoiler alert: this movie is on his list, but I'm not going to say where where it ranks at. Uh, but yeah, so so it's a bunch of friends, you know, uh, you know. Uh, there's a guy who works in an office, has a crush on this one on this one coworker, talks her into going with him. To a weekend getaway, they get away for a while. They bring along a couple of friends, and they meet some woman in a diner who's having a little trouble with a guy who won't leave her alone. Well, they bring her along too, but turns out she's nothing but trouble. Well, the movie opens up with a clown killing some random woman, and this clown, for some odd reason, loves li- loves leaving around doll parts. Arms, legs, heads, torso, the whole nine yards. Just to kind of tell people, hey, I'm around. Now, why he does it, I don't know, but that's pretty much his warning. You know, I'm around, so I'm going to leave doll parts in your cabinet, in your refrigerator, in your, uh, in the forest, everywhere I can. Well, the bodies start piling up, suspicion starts going around, and everybody starts thinking that the that the woman they picked up at the diner may have something to do with it because she starts flirting around with the guys and starts causing trouble and all kinds of crap. Well, anyway, the movie comes to a to a screeching halt when the killer clown tries to get inside of the house where everybody is at. But then it just turns out the killer clown and the guy who uh, headed up this whole vac- uh, getaway are in cahoots with each other. And the woman that was picked up at the diner is also in cahoots with the guy who made all this weekend nonsense happen. So the other couple, they wind up getting killed off and everything like that. And then the end, of, and then the, the woman that uh, the guy who was uh, who he was interested in. Uh, she winds up being taken away by the clown, and then the end of the movie comes when uh, the guy at the office talks another couple into going for another weekend getaway with him, and the movie ends, thankfully. <laughs> this movie was low-budget horror at its worst. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the clown itself was not all that good. He, was, he wasn't that menacing. He was actually kind of stupid, boring, and dull. In fact, this whole movie was badly acted, badly done. Uh, the gore in it is not all that great. Uh, to tell you the truth, the acting's not all that good either. And and it's another one of those movies where some of these characters, either you can like them, you can hate them. I will admit, though, the ending, somewhat predictable. It, it tried to play off a sort of a twist, but, it was, but you can almost kind of sense that there's something going on. Uh, with the woman they pick up at the diner. Uh, but when it is revealed that the clown and uh, the guy from the office are sort of in cahoots with each other, that was a pretty nice twist, but it just couldn't save the, uh, I think, hour and a half this movie took away from you from watching it and being nothing more than an idiotic, boring, dull piece of crap. So there you guys have it. Uh, sick. Uh, the the doll parts stuff. That that to me was like this is that that that, that to me was pretty stupid, you know. Because again, he just leaves doll parts in the forest, in the fridge, in the house, everywhere. And I and I just kind of sat there and going like, I don't know what that's all about, but it, but it's pointless. So there you guys have it. Sick serial insane clown killer. This Texas massacre is nothing to laugh at. Well, this horror movie is nothing much to watch. To tell you guys the truth. All right, so 
there you guys go. Uh, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that made you want to... Laugh it off to forget you ever watched it. Send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you so very, very much for watching. And until next time, for Doc Schlock, as always, stay strong and rock on.